Okay, back as promised. If you want to create an executable, which is just so that you can distribute this, give it to your friends, give them to download, put it on itch.io or something, go over here and click the clean button. It's a little dustpan, and it'll get rid of all the air, like compiling errors and stuff that you've built up over the duration. The success. Go over here and you press on this button. Package as installer. I'm gonna call it shoot 'em up. It's on my desktop. It's gonna take a minute. Success. Package complete. Fired up. Yes. Three. Create a desktop shortcut. Yeah, I do all that stuff. Finish. Check it out. Here is our game. Press F to play respect. A dumb throw away. And there you go. You've got a game to share with your friends. Get that. See how far they can get. It's not going to get any harder than this. We know that. We said that this way. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can... You know what? We'll do two more little things. Actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and give you a little hint right now. Not a hint, but if you want to create like an invincibility or something, create an icon for it like you did these, and then... Basically, just make it so that, uh, make it so that you're set to can hurt is false and set an alarm that says, you know, we'll just do it real quick. Real quick. I don't want to add any more to this because you've already created an executable. You've already basically, you're done with it. We, we're gonna, this is gonna be as crummy as possible. Shh. There you go. SH. Yes, built. Perfectly clear as day. Duplicated power up. Shield. Slide with it. Instead of this, we're going to say with other can hurt false. False. See what alarm that's set to. Alarm one. Image alpha equals five. See image. Here's a little secret. Im well, you already know about image. One equals C. Purple. Let's make it purple for a minute. Alarm one. Uh, speed. Times five. Image one. Good alarm one. Golf goes one. Can't hurt goes through. And then we'll need to say if image blend does not equal C white, then image equals C. Go ahead and put in the room. Have to wait for it. Should turn us purple and make us invincible. Five seconds. Yeah, see, we didn't take any damage. Now we're back. Okay, I'm taking damage. Here. So there's how you do invincibility. Just add that to your mix. And there you go. I think we've got a complete game. I think you're good to go. Um, add more onto this. We could do more, but uh, see where you take it. See where your creativity leads you. And just keep up with it. It's really fun making games. I've become kind of obsessed with it. Um, 
I have a lot of fun doing this. I haven't released any games financially as of right now. I do have a game available on itch.io um, called Cyberspace Shoot 'em Up, which is like this, only way more complex. I do plan on releasing a, a tutorial to do one of gr much greater depth, but uh, that's likely to be a Udemy course or something, so that really sets itself up well as a as a studio lesson. That's how I learned Game Maker was on Udemy, and it 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 served me much better than uh, going on YouTube and finding different parts to like piece together. Having a full course was really beneficial to me, and the Udemy layout helped me out a lot. So I plan on doing that sometime in the near future. But I hope you found a lot of value in this course. It's a loose collection of lessons. Um, and I hope you make something really cool with it and do something that's totally your own, absolutely unique. Uh, one of my favorite quotes of all time is Bruce Lee's. Bruce Lee once said something along the lines, I'm paraphrasing here, but accept what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is essentially your own. And that's a really good lesson for pretty much everything in life. Take what works specifically for you, reject what just is, doesn't work at all, and then add what is yours. Another person uh, said, or it's just a common thing, but when you get into making games, first imitate, then iterate, and then originate. So first start off copying something really simple, like make a Pong game or something. In fact, Breakout is one of the demos that Game Maker, Yo Yo Games has as a Game Maker demo. Um, there's uh, Asteroids is another one of the demos they have. Make something that's just like something very simple. Do your best to imitate it as much as possible and then iterate on it. Add new things. Make it break out, but now it's three players at once. Or you can, you know, you can change the speed and trajectory of the ball or something by pressing a button. Add something original to it and then make it your own game after that. Once you, you know, uh, the first platformer, Super Mario Bros. is one of the first platformers that had side-scrolling in it. And the first person to copy that was probably seen as a copycat, and then the second, third, and fourth person, now it's its own genre. Now platformer is like one of the best genres ever. It's a classic. Everybody wants to imitate and iterate on the original Mario formula and then make it their own game. Mega Man, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden, they all added guns or whips or swords or what have you and it's all things that made it original but based on the original super mario bros so there's a lot you can do and i I can't wait to see what other people do leave in your comments if you have a game available on itch.io or something or if you're excited about your game uh do it up man just have at it have a good time with it add to it um and if you're not good at it yet that's fine read the manual on yo-yo games it has a lot of really good information, and you, it's kind of required. It's not very fun, and you don't have to do it all at once. I'm still not through it. I go back and read a couple pages of it every now and then. It's not available in print, so you have to go on their website, but uh, you'll learn a lot from there. And uh, one more quote I want to leave you with. Uh, MMA fighter Conor McGregor one time said, and again, paraphrasing, I'm going to get this wrong, but he said something to the lines of, there is no talent. There's only obsession. He's, he said he's, he's not a talented fighter. He's just obsessed. So he's got constant practice. And he's always working on it. And thinking about it. And obsessing over it. So if you really feel like game design. And game development is your calling. Go for it. See what you can do. You know. Make sure. You, you know. I'm not saying quit your job to do it. But. Eventually, if you start making money off of it and you're in a space where you're comfortable and safe financially and stuff to go about doing it, or if you don't have financial responsibilities, if you've got that luxury of being set up and you have the ability to work on it, then go for it. Fully encourage it. It's really fun. Just, you know, be responsible about it. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. And I hope you've gotten some value out of this, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And thanks for sticking through this all the way to the end, if you did. So, see you later, and keep an eye out for other videos and announcements. Thanks.